Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys quite literally the easiest and most foolproof method to go ahead and unlock this social distancing Dark Ops calling card in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This is going to be your one and only guide needed to go ahead and unlock this and it's definitely the only method you're going to need to get this unlocked right away. I've seen some videos on YouTube with methods that do work, but often take many attempts to actually get it right without being hit by a zombie or taking fall damage and things of that nature. I'm going to guarantee you that you can complete this challenge by implementing a few Black Ops 6 zombie glitches and in-game mechanics that will ensure you can complete this Dark Ops challenge with ease. So this video will be your one and only guide. I'll go fully in depth with my idea for it and walk you through completing it as I do on screen, as well as provide you tips for every specific scenario. It's extremely easy to set this up and complete this challenge. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Now, before we get into the glitch, I just want to quickly mention that you can head over to MitchCactus.com, the number one supplier of in-game boosts and services. Mitch Cactus now offers Black Ops 6 services, including bot lobbies, instant camo unlocks, weapon leveling, cheaper COD points, and even double XP tokens. Mitch Cactus is a highly reputable company with over 14,000 Trustpilot reviews and a Discord community of nearly 40,000 people to which you can see and speak to other customers who have benefited from using not only Call of Duty services, but services for many other games as well. So be sure to head over to MitchCactus.com to save time on your grind. This is the class setup I was using. It's a very reliable weapon and I highly recommend it, especially because you can get it pack-a-punched early on if you get the wall power gobble gum. Just be sure to make this your zombie build loadout in order to get attachments on it when buying it off the wall. As far as the best gobble gums go for this, I'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. So you guys are also gonna need to have Aether Shroud unlocked with burst dash and an extra charge. And additionally to that, you're gonna also need to have Dark Flare with Supernova and Broadbeam. First things first, my idea was to go into a solo round based game of Terminus, acquire my Aether Shroud, use some Gobble Gums to get a few perks, a Pack a Punch weapon, and basically just survive the few beginning rounds without having to actually increase my chances of being hit by a zombie by, you know, turning power on fully, opening Pack a Punch, and progressing farther and farther into the map. I knew that I would be using the Aether Shroud glitch to get into the armory and I'd then be swapping my field upgrade to Dark Flare in order to take advantage of the fact that you can use it indefinitely by continually swapping back to it. So I thought this would be a complete breeze and would only require one attempt, but I soon realized that there's a few things in the map that can actually hurt you. So the first door that actually does open up after you turn the power on, there's usually a guy in there and you may actually take a bullet from him as I did in one of my attempts. Another thing is, just as we're able to actually breach through the barrier in the armory, not only are some zombies able to do so, but the elite zombie that comes around round 16 can also somehow get his big old body in here as well. So I quickly went back to the drawing board and discovered that the only way to bypass this hurdle would be to either get a mutant injection and activate it if the elite zombie breaches through, or go into a public match and hope that my random teammates would be able to take care of him for me. So that's exactly what I did. I hopped into a public match and basically just played very passively in the first few rounds, using as many helpful gobblegums as I could, the ones that are going to be most beneficial are Arsenal Accelerator to charge your field upgrade faster. This is going to get you into the armory way quicker. Wall Power, this will give you guys a pack-a-punch gun right away. So you can actually go ahead and buy that shotgun and it's going to be pack-a-punched. So you're going to have a really powerful weapon. Now the next one's Wonder Bar. This will give you a wonder weapon which will allow you to stay outside of the armory longer in case you need more time to build your field upgrade. Now it is a bit risky going to the box because uh, it usually does spawn pretty far out. But I was able to do it in this attempt and it was uh, perfectly fine. I didn't take any damage. Now the last gobble gum here is raindrops. This is probably by far one of the best gobble gums to have for this as it's going to mainly give you the full power drop which will give you the aether shroud right away. So basically once you've passed a few rounds and you got aether shroud and you're confident that you can now go into the armory go ahead and run and jump and pop your aether shroud to breach through the armory door. Once inside Make sure that the crawling zombie isn't there. That can also damage you. Also, just be cautious if some players do come into the armory. It does have a chance of that zombie spawning in. So if you're over on that side, it might attack you. So just be careful uh, when players are coming into the armory as well. Now from here, you can go ahead and switch to Dark Flare and basically just shoot it out of the window as you see me do here. You can now switch your field upgrade to the Dark Flare. And every time you do this, it's going to give you guys Dark Flare again. So you can keep killing zombies while inside of here and still be of somewhat help to your teammates. Now, while you're in here, you just need to be careful of any zombies that breach through the wall and just take care of them with your pack-a-punch weapon, as you see me do here. Additionally, on the flying bug rounds, these guys can fly in here quite easily, so I recommend prioritizing holding your weapon rather than using the dark flare because you might get caught up with your dark flare out while a bug flies in here 
and you won't actually be able to shoot him because the animation is taking place. Now the last potential thing that could ruin your whole run would be the elite zombie coming and targeting you. If you load into a match with teammates, have them take care of this enemy, otherwise hope and pray, like I did, that the amalgam doesn't actually spawn in the window over there, and that he just goes for the other players in your game. After this, it should be smooth sailing, just complete the last few rounds, and once you get to round 20, you'll see that beautiful social distancing calling card pop up on screen. So guys, if you do need some players to help you out with this glitch, you know, load into a lobby together, and then just one guy stands outside and takes care of the amalgam or whatever it needs to be, go ahead and comment down below your Activision ID, and also join my Discord because we can all get together and help each other complete this calling card by using this method. I do believe this is actually by far the best method out there right now. It's going to actually guarantee that you get this calling card. A lot of the just straight playthroughs and regular playing, you're going to take some for sort of damage somewhere along the lines and it's going to normally be accidental. And it's going to make you really frustrated because you're going to have to restart over and over and over again. So if you guys did like this for sure method to get the social distancing calling card, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And with that being said, my name is of course Eradicate and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.